Today we're unboxing Titanic the Game from Spin Master Games. I'm Mark Maya. Welcome to Board Game Cup. Right now, for those of you who've been paying attention to our videos, you might have noticed that I'm wearing the exact same thing that I wore for our Marvel United unboxing. And that's because we got a little care package from Spin Masters and they're putting out both those games. So, ah, let's focus on Titanic. Okay, my mom, if she liked board games at all, she would lose her mind over this because she is a huge Titanic fan. Fun fact, Titanic is the only movie that I've ever seen in the theater twice on the same day. Now you might be asking yourself, wow, you must be a huge Leonardo DiCaprio fan or, or you know, whatever. But no, it's uh, the reason I, I saw that is because I was in high school I believe it was high school, maybe it was college. I don't remember, no, college, maybe college or high school, it was on the border of one of those things. So I was there, I was in school, and I took my girlfriend at the time to go see Titanic. And we went to an early show. And as soon as I came out of that movie, I was like, wow, that movie was great. My parents would love this. So, and you know, it was had a soundtrack by Celine Dion and they're huge Celine Dion fans. Um, so I took them later that night. Cause I was like, you gotta see this. So I took them, I, I, I think that might've been the only and last time I've ever gone with both my parents to a movie. It was a lot of fun, I have a lot of memories. So I have a special connection to Titanic the movie. But you know, we're here to talk about the game. Let's open it up and see what's inside. First of all, one thing I wanna bring up before we open this lid is this, I, I believe this is the poster of the movie type of thing that's happening here. And this is the most un- board game box cover that I've ever seen, or box art. Like, I would have never guessed, like this looks like just, because it's a scene taken right out of the movie or the movie poster, like, you know, it's it's actually, you know, uh, Leo and, uh, uh, I forgot her name, uh, Kate Winslet. It's, it's just throwing me off, right? But it's, it's designed by Daryl Andrews, and I, I mean, we're huge fans of Daryl Andrews. Actually, Daryl is coming over tomorrow to teach me how to play Titanic. We're not recording anything, it's a, it's a personal teach, but uh, maybe I'll pass that on as a playthrough or something. Let's check it out. Let's see what's inside. Ooh, blackness. Just like the sea that they're all going to drown in. That's a little dark. Sorry, take that back. Need something. This lid won't stay afloat. It's, uh, hold on. There you go. Got it to stay up. Stuck some garbage in it. Okay, cool. Now, again, I'm a, I love the movie. So, and, and, you know, I love the movie. Huge fan of Daryl's. Looking forward to playing this out. And the fact that he's coming to teach me, even better. Ooh, that's a board. Oh, the board starts unfolding right away. Usually I expect the rule book on top, but what do we got? Oh, we got, this is, okay. We're gonna have to move the board of the camera for this one. Cause yeah, this, you're not gonna be able to see all this. You know, I wasn't expecting a board this big in the box. We'll, we'll come back to that once we move the camera so we can get a better look at it. For now, oh, we got a little, got a little crushed. But you know what I like about this? If this is the rules, this is fantastic. Because other than the fact that it got all dinged up and crushed, it's, uh, looks like it was just placed in the box badly. Okay, so this is a very welcoming rule book. As in, it's, it's more of a rule brochure and it doesn't look like there's a lot to take in, which I like which I like, I'm a fan of, because I want to play more games and not spend more time reading giant manuals. But I will, because I do like my big games too. Okay, cool, so there's that. Unfortunately, mine is all crushed up and banged up, but that's okay. All right, there's a lot of space in this box. I'm sh sure that's for sorting things. We got a dry erase marker in there. Hmm? With, uh, with the 
rubber with the, not the rubber, the, the wipe off thing. Hmm, check it out. You've all seen those before. Actually, here's the thing, I, I, I know nothing about Titanic the game. Um, I just heard it was coming out and I was like, okay, I'll look at it. And next thing I know, it was out before I realized it was, it was out, if that makes any sense. Okay, so we got little gray meeples. We got some plastic stands. Ooh, guessing these represent water because they're cool, clear looking. We'll get close to the, closer look at those in a bit. Okay, we got different colored meeples. We'll stack of cards. And oh, we do have stuff under here. Ooh. We've got some tiles. Well, we can look at these. Come on, cut. Did it. Okay, so let's move that aside. Let's crack into these babies. Now, I thought the board, the play board, was going to be made up of a bunch of these. I didn't realize it was one big foldy thing. I actually prefer the big foldy things. I guess it depends. If it's a game where, you know, the level variations have to mix up each time you play, then I guess separated chunks of board is, is better in that case. Okay, so these are very shiny. This is very shiny. The cardboard is actually fairly thin, but still sturdy. But uber shiny, like I don't remember the last time I've ever opened a box that had something that's so laminated. All right, so we got like a, a dinghy. That looks like part of the Titanic over there. So we got some ships and something on there. Is that the door? Two players only gain one star token and when acquired, you must still make it onto the final collapsible boat. Oh, I, look, I wonder if that's the door that they, they hung onto. And we know what that is. That's the, the gem the old lady threw in the water. Oh, here's the other side. So they're double-sided. There's the whole thing. Oh, this is three to five players. So the other side is only for one to two players. So it looks like we're, it looks like this game takes place at the final portion of the Titanic's journey where we're trying to get everybody out on the boats or on the escape boats, rafts. Yeah, we're talking, oh, oh, these are like stuck together. Okay. so. There those are. I like the simplistic style on these. Here, I like that artwork. Oh, I got one for Ruth and Cal. I don't remember the movie that well specifically to remember character names. I'm assuming they're from that. Rose and Jack, now those are the two names I remember. That was Kate Winslet, and that was Leonardo DiCaprio. Looks just like him. Actually, that looks more like Kate. And the other one looks like Leo. But, again, very shiny. Oh, I know why they're shiny, because it's it's got the, you need to be able to dry erase this stuff. That's why. Ah, uh, okay, that explains it. I thought that's going to be, it's like excessively glossy, but considering what it's for, it all makes sense now. Okay, again, there's more of that simplistic art style to represent the characters. I like it. I like these. Those are fun. I have little tokens of them too. The dinghies, or not the dinghies, what are they called? The life preservers? Oh, I got a bunch of stuff on the other side. These are completely different. These are the locations on the ship. That's what that whole thing looks like. And up close, huh. and over here, we gotta flip these ones. Oh, so we got a lot of rooms. Looks like we've recreated. Oh, hold on. Wait a second. Sneaky. These are stuck together. There's two of them. I wasn't even in the back of that one. It's less exciting. It's the same on both sides. And that, the other side of the rooms, 
was this? Okay, so I guess they line up with the ship and then you flip it over and you're like, bam, that's where the first class uh, stateroom is in the galley. Anything stuck together there? New. No. So I'm assuming the other side, yeah, is the boat side. And let's take a close up of the rooms. Oh, I like a, is that like a gym? The swimming bath. Oh, it's Now, it's the kind of game you would take with you if you went on a cruise. Would that go over well? I mean, the closest thing to something like that I've done was I watched Top Gun on a plane. So, you know, watching planes get shot out of the air while you're in a plane. Not too cool. But at least it's not the same plane. Or same type. Another fun fact about a Titanic movie is I went to go see the movie for a third time, not on the same day, because I did a school project for drama class where we reenacted three scenes from the movie. A beginning scene, a middle scene, and the end scene all focused on Jack and Rose's relationship. So to do that again, we watched the movie. And just to, just to try it out, you know, because I was a young kid, I was feeling experimental. I dyed my hair blonde. That did not go well for me. Blonde hair for me, with the black eyebrows, I looked like Sick Boy from Train Spotting. It, the blonde really took. Like, yeah, I was like, a blonde. I had a lot more hair than I do now. And, uh, yeah. Anyways, it didn't go well. I dyed it back to dark brown the next day. Okay, let's take a look at this big board. Then we'll get down close for these little bits and then we'll wrap this up. Okay, here we go. Here is the big board. As you can see, we've got the Titanic across the top. That iceberg is off to the side. So I think we're, we're gonna clear that. We're good. I don't think that should pose any, any issues. Um, and then look like we got a bunch of dinghies going on here. And oh, here's all the different rooms. So I guess these are all the rooms that are in the Titanic. Cool. So that's, that's what it looks like. It's all shiny. I have to turn the overhead lights off. So you might notice a lighting change because it was getting very reflecty since everything's so shiny. All right, so we'll take a look at the bits now. Oh, I just noticed there's this box, which I don't know what goes here, but there's this little point. I'm assuming this is the point track and there, that looks like the broken door. So I'm guessing that's when the um, the iceberg hits the fan. And uh, yeah, oh, it says final over here. I don't know how this how this works. Daryl, I'm looking forward to that teach. Okay, let's get up close. All right, now we're all close. So let's uh, check out some stuff. First, let's check out some little baggies. I like I'm liking these crystals so far. These little cubes because they're all clear and water like. Ooh, look how pretty, right? I like these things. These are nice. These are nice looking. Hope they look as nice on camera as they do in person. They're very clear. On camera, they look a little darker. No, no, they, oh, these are solid. I like these, I, I, I dig those. I'm rambling. All right, let's put those away before we lose any. Yeah, those look like your boat's taking on water type of icons. That's my guess. And then we got a bunch of red meeples. These are all the same. You've seen a meeple before, and now you've seen it again. Put that in there. They're thick. Thick and tiny. They're tiny little meeples. They're not the tiniest little meeples I've seen, but they are small. Those are some gray meeples. A bunch of those. Our green ones. Bam, oops, like once again, you've seen a meeple. You 
They're probably familiar if you're watching this channel. And next we got these things when they're standees for, I'm guessing, characters. I'm guessing your character cards go in there. Or maybe, I don't know, because there's not enough of them for all the rooms to go in there. So I'm sure, I'm sure it'd be one of those character cards with cool drawings. Now, let's open this up and see what these cards are all about. Okay, so the back of these, boom, there they are. Let's see there's a, a movie reel there. Okay, let's separate these by backs and see what's on the other side of them. So let's start with these. So there's quite a few of these guys. Don't know what they are? Let's find out. Oh. End of your turn, top deck number two. Okay, so we'll go through these quickly. And these seem to be all the rooms on the Titanic. Ooh, smoking room. I keep saying, like, it'd be cool to smoke a cigar on the Titanic. And then you remember what happens to the Titanic. And you know, then you think, you know what? Maybe a cigar just isn't worth it. Maybe. And yes, I do smoke the odd cigar. But, like, for a year or something like that. Just for occasions and special gatherings. So we got some, this is more, what's, hmm, I don't know what these are. Oh, that's a, is that, it's a shot right from the movie. That's, I'm believing that's Rose with an axe. Interesting, when did it, when did we get to these? We actually have scenes from the movie. Interesting. I don't have, a, I don't think I own a lot of games where there's actual clips from the movie being used as the artwork. I'm not sure I own any, actually. I might, I'm just forgetting, but... There's Rose. Oh, it's a classic. Classic scene. Yeah, there's My Heart Will Go On. Damn straight it will. I had such a crush on Kate Winslet then. I don't know why. Well, I guess I know why, but it's, it's not there anymore. Sorry, Kate. It's nothing personal. I'm married now. Okay. So what do we got here? Uh, these look like, are these reference cards? These look like reference cards. Yes. So they're all the same. So let's just get a look at both of those. Both sides of those. Boom and bam. Private objectives. And on the other side, ba boom. Maximum of 10 points. It looks like there's quite a few things to do on here. I'm wondering if. Do you have to do all of them? Any of them? Let's have it in order. I'm not actually reading them, so I don't know. And then there's this. Oh, they worked the meeples into the Titanic scene. Hmm. Interesting. Oh, because that's that's the Rose with the vest and Jack in the water. Try to fit two meeples on that door. <laughs> or go ahead, try to fit two meeples on that door. Okay. Challenge accepted. Okay, so these are um, flood cards, which you might have guessed. Okay, so a lot of water and numbers. I don't know what these mean, but there are columns getting flooded. Oh, and now there's no food. Oh, that's a, now we're in trouble. Okay, that was... That was it. That was everything in the Titanic V game board game unboxing. Let me turn that off. There you go. Okay, well, I'm interested, very interested in learning this tomorrow. Um, Daryl, 
Well, and you know, you know what? Here, I'm just gonna say it. By the time you guys see this video, Daryl would have already been here and taught me how to play Titanic. So I'm just going to go ahead and say, good job, Daryl. I learned a lot. Thanks for coming. Um, and sorry I beat you at your own game. That, that is all. See you next week, guys. So we just finished our first game of Titanic, the game taught by Daryl. Howdy. And, you know, funny enough, Daryl was the only one that didn't get off the boat. <laughs> Ruth. Where's Ruth? Let's, let's bring it over. There's Ruth. I mean, so close. She's really close. So close. She's swimming. really close. She's a good swimmer. Yeah. So uh, the final score was Jack, me, with what do I have here? 56 points? I got uh, zero. zero for the designer because he couldn't make it off the boat. But I would have. I would have. Yeah, uh, so there you go. Thanks for joining us. If you like this video and you want to see more, subscribe to our channel. It's the best way to keep up to date with everything we do here at Board Game Coffee. But if you want to see more right now, we got plenty of videos to choose from. And if that's not enough, follow us on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. I'm Mark Maya, and this is Board Game Coffee. And remember, have fun, keep gaming, be social. See you next week.